So, you think you would survive one hour in ice cold water before succumbing to hypothermia? Well, that's closer than the other two. The truth is, you could possibly last even longer than one hour as long as you are wearing your life jacket. Let me break down what happens during a cold water immersion. First is the cold shock response. This will be gasping followed by hyperventilation. Do not panic, it will pass in about one minute. It is important to keep your head above water and your airway open as much as possible because if your head is underwater, you could inhale more than a liter of water in a single gasp. Wearing your life jacket is the best way to survive that first minute. It will keep you afloat so you can focus more on getting control of your breathing rather than trying to stay on top of the water. This rapid breathing will subside, and when it does, you will have 10 minutes of meaningful movement before you become too incapacitated to rescue yourself or to prepare to wait to be rescued. During this stage, called cold incapacitation, blood will move from your arms and legs towards your core to keep your vital organs warm. As you begin to lose mobility, you won't be able to move your arms and legs enough to rescue yourself or even stay afloat. It doesn't matter how great of a swimmer you are, it will happen to you. But with your life jacket on, you will stay afloat, be able to keep your airway open and survive it. In about 20 minutes, as your body core cools, you will start to become hypothermic. After about one hour in ice cold water, your body will have cooled due to hypothermia to the point that you become unconscious. With your life jacket keeping your airway open and you afloat, you will continue breathing, will be alive, and you'll still have time to be found and rescued. So how long do you really have to survive? In ice cold water, depending on your body size, you could have up to two hours or more before your heart stops due to hypothermia. The key to surviving a cold water immersion is knowing what will happen to your body. You have one minute to get your breathing under control, 10 minutes of meaningful movement, and one hour before you become unconscious due to hypothermia. But only if you have your life jacket on. Otherwise, there is no way you can keep your head above water long enough to actually become hypothermic. Ready to learn more? Select from the options below to see what else you can do to survive a cold water immersion.